So as you may or may not know, Twitch recently made a lot of really bad decisions that tons of people are heavily criticizing and for very good reason. Twitch has backpedaled on a few of the terms of service and the branding guidelines that they have, but there are still some things that are pretty significant and unfortunately, them making those decisions in the first place kind of tells you where their minds are set to go and where they want to be. And they're probably just going to adjust things going forward to ensure that there's a lot less backlash or maybe that it's a lot less visible. I'm not sure. But with all those news, I know a lot of people are trying to switch their streams over from Twitch to places like YouTube. And I wanted to quickly show you how to easily do that, especially if you're using stream elements. Now, really quick, I do have a playlist set up for setting up a YouTube stream. It has a few things talking about setting up stream elements for YouTube, setting up OBS for YouTube, and how to go live for the first time. So if you wanna check out those videos, I'll leave a link to the playlist up here somewhere. And I just wanted to quickly show how to convert your existing overlays in stream elements over from Twitch to YouTube to make that kind of transition a little bit easier and to bring things that you've already probably put a lot of work into over and just make that transition much simpler. So the first major important thing is to go ahead and double check that you have added your YouTube to stream elements. Um, so right now I'm logged into my Twitch, but you can also see that I have my YouTube here as well. That is super important. If you do not have that done, what you're gonna wanna do is go to channel settings and you're gonna wanna go ahead and add a YouTube channel. Now, once you have that done and you make sure that you have your Twitch and your YouTube, you're gonna wanna make sure that the Twitch one is active and then you're gonna go to streaming tools and you're gonna go to overlays. From here, you'll see I have a whole bunch of my overlays. I like to separate all of my things into different overlays. So I have things for subs, follows, and hosts. I have things for tips. Um, I have all of my different scenes. So we're gonna go ahead and copy uh, this one for sub follows and hosts. We're gonna copy that one over to YouTube. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the three dots right down here and you're gonna duplicate. And you're gonna select which channel you want that to go to. It's gonna go to that YouTube channel, submit. And you can do this for all of the overlays that you wanna copy over. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the channel selector and we're gonna switch over to YouTube. And now that we're here, we go to streaming tools, we go to overlays, and you will see that that is now moved over. I can go into the edit page and we will see our uh, layer here and we have our settings. You can see subscribers, members, super chats, tips, and purchases. What I suggest you do is test all of these to make sure that they work. Hello? Um, things will be a little bit different between Twitch and YouTube. So you're gonna wanna make sure that they all work properly. Um, things are set up differently, right? Twitch doesn't have members and that's where a lot of the important things are gonna have to change. And you're probably gonna have to make some adjustments to the way that a lot of your things work here. So for example, for this one, I would change this member alert from new subscriber and instead it's gonna say new member. And now if I go ahead and do the member, we're good to go. This process though makes all of this very easy. You don't have to recreate everything. You don't have to relink all these things. You don't have to reset up all the sounds, the alerts themselves, all that kind of stuff. You can have a majority of it done. But again, I do suggest you go ahead and test everything. Make sure that any of the chat overlays you have are still working. Make sure that all of your alerts work, so on and so forth. Once you're done that, you can go ahead and add those into OBS. They're gonna be new links, so you cannot use the existing links. Um, but if you want to, you can go ahead and on OBS, for profiles, you can go ahead and duplicate a profile, create one now for YouTube, and you can also create a new scene collection and you can duplicate your existing scene collection in order to replace the links on all of those browser sources with the new ones for YouTube makes things really simple. So for example, if I have one here and we go to browser, we'll call this one overlay. And
and we can go ahead and add that in there and then if i go ahead and do a scene collection and i duplicate that and i call this one youtube and now what i want to do is just replace this link with the link from my youtube one and you're good to go again i do have videos where i show you how to set all this stuff up set up all of the youtube side of things the stream element side of things for youtube and obs and if there's anything that you feel is missing or that isn't expansive enough and you still have questions, please let me know down in the comments and I will be sure to read them. And if there's something that I can go ahead and create a new video on, I will be happy to do so. But I'd love to hear from you. What are you gonna be doing? Are you currently streaming on Twitch and you're planning on moving somewhere else like YouTube or, you know, Kick? I, I wouldn't suggest, but you know, that's another option out there. Um, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you wanna go. Are you gonna be switching over? Are you going to change the way that you stream going forward? I know a lot of people that use Restream to stream on both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. And with these new rules that they haven't changed, uh, multi-streaming is currently kind of blanket banned for everybody now instead of just applying to people like partners. Um, how much they're actually going to enforce that, who knows. But that's going to be a big change for a lot of people as well. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Please let me know down in the comments. I'm sure to read all of them and I will reply to as many of them as I can as well. Now for me personally, this doesn't really affect me all too much. Um, I don't have any brands or sponsors for my Twitch channel. I don't participate in political debates or anything like that. And I currently don't multi-stream. However, I am still considering just not really streaming on Twitch anymore and maybe streaming on my current YouTube channel, this one here. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, let me know. I would be happy to stream on this channel. I'd be happy to stream on a Cat Egg Gaming channel or something like that and keeping this channel mainly for just tech related things and have another one for gaming. Let me know down in the comment section below, but um, I am planning on maybe focusing a little bit more on the YouTube stuff with Twitch making this change, even though it doesn't affect me directly right now, it could affect me in the future. And the last couple of years have just really proven that Twitch doesn't care about the people who are providing the content on their platform. And they are just making a lot of really stupid mistakes that will continue to burn everybody in the long run. But I hope you did find this video helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you like subscribed. Again, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Thoughts, Lime, and Step Back, and thank you for watching the end of this video. If you do want to go ahead and check out that playlist where I show you the rest of the YouTube setups, go ahead and check it out right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Saturday.